Folks, I am Oliver Ricketts. I am a uh, video production specialist here at videoguys.com. I am typically the tech team that puts these shows together, but I'm stepping in to host this week's Video Guys Live. Um, and we're going to jump right into it. This show is all about the Epifan Pearl family. These are multi-camera production systems that we have been selling for a very long time, including the Pearl Nano, the Pearl Mini, and the Pearl 2. In the time that we've been carrying the Pearl systems, we've noticed them used in a variety of different locations, including uh, government video, uh, corporate AV, education and lecture capture, as well as houses of worship. Uh, and in these different areas that the Pearl is being used, we've also noticed a lot of different workflows using different features of the Pearl systems. One of those is the ability to record while you're streaming with all of the Pearl systems. Uh, so we thought it would be a great idea to get together with Epifan and Angelbird um, and put together a really cool bundle. Jen, let's pull this up full screen. So until the end of this month, that's January 31st, 2022, Video Guys will be offering a free Angelbird 128 gigabyte AV Pro SD card with the Pearl Nano or the Pearl Mini. These are really great bundles for anybody looking to take advantage of the recording side of the Epifan Pearl along with the streaming. Now, I'm here to tell you why we chose this card and some other workflows that go well with Pearl. So, what makes this Angelbird card an optimal choice for recording with Pearl? Well, you can see these specs here, this 128 gigabyte card is very fast, but the real reason that we thought this would be a great option to bundle with your Pearls is that this card can record full HD or 4K, uh, depending on how you scale your production, and it's fast enough to record while you're still performing a stable stream. Uh, as the Epifan encoders are streaming devices first, uh, it's important that you have a card that can support that. This also adds a $59.99 value to your Pearl, but we didn't just pick it to give you something for free. We picked it because this is a great, great choice for something that you can do with your Pearl. Now, it's not just recording that the Epifan Pearl Mini and Pearl Nano uh, use their SD card slots for. If you have an SD card in your Pearl system, you can also use it to bring up graphics, lower thirds, uh, logos, or anything similar to that. So I know a lot of people like to use uh, PowerPoint slides if you're doing a presentation. Um, and what's really cool is that you can do this from your SD card and still be recording at the same time. Let me show you how easy this is. So if I log in to my Epifan dashboard right here, this is my Pearl Nano, and let's look at what it looks like when you go into the dashboard. This is the online GUI where we customize everything that goes on in my Epifan Pearl Nano. You see down here, I have my card inserted for internal storage. Here's a, pre uh, a preview of what's going on in my Pearl Nano. And one of the things people really love about Pearl is the customization of your shots. You can add graphics, uh, backgrounds, or if you have a Pearl Mini or a Pearl 2, multiple cameras uh, into one layout. So to do that, I go up here to Channel, and I hit this Auto, because that is the only channel that I have set up. And here's my channel, and I want to bring in, in this case, a logo from my SD card. So we're going to go into how to bring in a graphic to your layout. So I go right here to Layout. And let's give it a minute to load. Here is my Pearl layout. And I want to add the Video Guys Live logo to this. Say I'm going to stream. I want it to be customized and I want it to be branded. Before the show, I put a Video Guys Live logo on my Angelbird SD card, which is in my Pearl Nano. So I'm going to scroll down here and you can see where it says Add New Item. I'm going to hit that. And in this case, I want to bring in a picture. Go over here, and I can see what I have available in my card. 
and you'll see Video Guys Live logo, which I've preloaded. Let's bring that in. And if I scroll up, there's my logo. Bring it down, resize it, and let's even save that. And so now I'm using this logo in this channel. Let's go over here and let's start recording just to show you that we can. And now I can record with my Pearl Nano and use my graphic at the same exact time, uh, both being served from my SD card. I'm going to flip right back to my presentation here and let's push on ahead. So really cool feature that can be found in Pearl. Super easy to do just as quickly as I did it, if not quicker. Now, of course, the main function of having an SD card with your Pearl Nano or Pearl Mini would be to record. So how long can you record with this SD card? That's a loaded question. There are a lot of different video types um, when it comes to resolution, frame rate. But let's talk about standard settings. How long can you record? Well, a uh, Pearl system is going to record in 1920 by 1080p by default. That's full HD. Um, when, you when you play a 1080p video on YouTube, that is the resolution that it is. Now, Pearls can support frame rates up to 60 frames per second, uh, but the default is going to be 30 frames per second for your recording and streaming. So assuming that you're recording and streaming at 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, the standard default settings on your Pearl system, this card can get you an estimated 12 hours. So right there, that's half of a day of recording that you can do all on this one card from your Pearl system. What are you going to do with the recordings once you are done? Well, here at Video Guys, we're big proponents of saving your content, your live stream content, and repurposing it to be used later. Post-production is still a valuable part of a live production world. You can use your recorded files, first of all, to archive your streams. Secondly, you can repurpose recorded clips to play additional content. If you're building a YouTube channel or a Facebook page where you're going to live stream a lot, you're producing a lot of content that can be repurposed and made into even new content. Recording with your Pearl is a great way to do that, and we do it on this channel all the time. You can also be confident that your stream is backed up safely, and specifically with Pearl, you can offload content or your recorded content from your SD card from anywhere. Let me show you where to find your recordings. If we jump out of my PowerPoint for just a second and we head on over to my Pearl again, here I am in Epifan Cloud. Let's stop my recording. And I want to find this recording. Well, I can head on over here and under my channel that I was recording, you can see this recording option. I'm going to select that. And here are all the recordings that I've done today. You can see I have the name, I have the file type, it's recording MP4s. I know when I started, what time I started recording, and when I ended recording. If you're a lecturer, that's going to be really important because you can follow your class schedule. Um, the duration, this one is 2 minutes and 48 seconds, and I even know how big of a file it is. Um, so, and another really cool feature is that I can download them from absolutely anywhere. As long as I've logged into Epifan Cloud, I don't need to go to my Pearl, take my SD card out, and offload the footage. I can just hit download right here and get it from my Pearl interface. Last thing I want to cover with Pearl recordings is a quick video guys tech tip. If you're a lecturer or you're in a house of worship and you're talking for a long time, chances are you're making long videos, you're recording long streams. What Pearl does that I think is really cool is it can set a time limit for recording. You don't have to do this, but we do it here in studio with time limits of 30 seconds. Once your Pearl hits the, not 30 seconds, I'm sorry, I misspoke, 30 minutes. Once your Pearl hits the 30 minute time limit, it will end the clip that you're working on and start a new one for recording. This is great, first of all, if you're in a post-production world and you know roughly where the segment you're trying to cut out is, 
There's some simple math. You can count your files and figure out what exactly you're looking for to cut. It's also great if you're in a building and, you know, they say uh, man plans, God laughs. Um, say there's a power outage. Your Perl still runs off of electricity. If your Perl goes down for an unexpected reason, now you haven't lost your whole day because you've been making 30-minute recordings or 10-minute recordings the whole time. You've only lost the last 10 or 30 minutes depending on the duration you pick. So that's a really cool feature of the Perl that I think is really helpful when you're doing recording. So just to reiterate the entire Perl family, there's the Perl Nano, which is a great entry-level starter encoder. Uh, it's a contribution encoder with one channel. Um, super, super powerful device. Now available with the AV Pro SD card from Angelbird, 128 gigabytes, uh, priced at $1,495. If you want to take a step up from that, there's the Pearl Mini, which has two HDMI inputs, as well as a USB input, um, is, and a touchscreen for easy function. That is also available with this same SD card. These deals are available until January 31st, 2022. Now, if you're looking to do a higher-end production workflow, you want to add more inputs, you want to use NDI, the system that you will need is the Epifan Pearl 2. This does exactly what I just said. This is the highest end of the Pearl family at $7,499. Um, this is a 4K capable switcher with six inputs and NDI capabilities. Although I will point out, this device records for long amounts of time in large files. It does not have an SD card slot. However, it allows for longer recordings because it has recording to USB. So all you need to do is plug a USB hard drive into this device and you can get started recording. In the description for this video and on our Video Guys blog post, I'm going to include a chart that compares all three of these systems in a PDF that will have specs, different features, and prices. You can definitely check those out in the description or in this blog post. Next up, uh, I did show off Epifan Cloud a little bit earlier, but I want to talk about what exactly it is. Well, Epifan Cloud is a place where all of your pearls can be viewed at one time. Let's take a look at mine, which we did earlier on in the demo. Here's my Epifan Cloud account. You can see that I have my Nano, my other Nano, and my Pearl 2, and I can see everything going on with these systems. I can start recording, I can stop recording, and I can even go into the layout of these devices, so I don't need to be on the same network. I can go right into my remote login, and now I have my Pearl Nano ready to be customized, ready to build layouts. This is an awesome, awesome tool, because it really means that remote production is possible with Perl. All I need is for my Perl to be up and running and I can start mixing with my Perl system. And the possibilities are endless. Say you're working at a university and all of your classes are being recorded and live streamed with Perl, but they're spread out across your entire campus in different buildings. Well, if you have Epifan Cloud, which now comes free, with every Perl system, all of your Perls feed back to Epifan Cloud as one command hub, and you can send images out the same way. Here you'll see I have a Perl 2 in one building with some cameras, audio inputs feeding into Epifan Cloud, but it can also feed into a Perl Mini in another building uh, because it's feeding back to Cloud. Same thing with the Perl Nano. This really, really expands the capability of Perl. And if you're using them in an education workflow, a corporate workflow, or anything like that, this is a great solution. Uh, or even if you just want to perform remote production. Another great thing to pair with your Epifan Pearl systems is a PTZ camera. A lot of times, people who are using Pearl systems are using them for the automation that they bring. With things like Panopto and Kaltura with automatic start and stop, and some of the features that we talked about earlier in this show, it only makes sense to also add a PTZ camera so you don't need a cameraman following your speaker at all times. 
PTZ cameras are easy and affordable and bring a lot of motion to your production. Video Guys carries cameras from Bird Dog, PTZ Optics, Panasonic, and more. We think these are a great pair for a really easy to use but still sophisticated workflow. If you're doing an NDI workflow, like I said earlier, you will need a Pearl 2. But more than that, the Pearl 2 lets you bring in multiple NDI sources. And if you're bringing in multiple NDI sources, you want to look at a network switch. This is the backbone of any NDI system. Uh, so if the Pearl 2 is hosting two or three NDI inputs, now I can bring in an, an, a Netgear M4250 switch, the same one that we use in this studio with all of our NDI cameras, which start at $499.99. Let's take a look at what this workflow would look like. And Jen, let's bring this up full screen. See, I have my Pearl 2. I have a video conference coming in via NDI. I have NDI cameras coming in. And they're all going back to my switch, which is on the same network as my Pearl 2 from my production, um, making a really great NDI workflow that can be supported without bogging down your network because they're almost on their own private network. Uh, we've talked at length about NDI workflows, including some great webinars on the M4250 switches, which will be included in the blog post for this week's show. So folks, I do wanna thank you very much for tuning in and watching this week's Video Guys Live webinar. My name is Oliver Ricketts. Um, I do use this technology every single day here at Video Guys, including the Pearl Nano, the Pearl Mini, the Pearl 2, any of the cameras that we talked about today, Epifan Cloud, the M4250 switches, all of these are part of our regular workflow every day, and we do answer questions on them. You can give us a call anytime at 1-800-323-2325, or send us an email at sales at videoguys.com. We'd be more than happy to help get you set up with a great workflow for your live streaming needs, or troubleshoot the one that you already have with this gear and maybe help you improve it a little bit. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune in next week, Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We do our Video Guys live show on Facebook and YouTube about the latest news in live streaming, video editing, uh, video storage, um, and the latest technology thereof. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Oliver. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this week's Video Guys live webinar. We go live every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time to our Facebook and YouTube pages with the latest news on live streaming, video editing, and video storage technology. Join us next week for a great webinar on Bird Dog Cam Control 3.0 Auto Tracking Demo and FAQs with Bird Dog PTZ cameras. Coming up, we also have a great webinar on Sandus Professional Pro Readers and Doc Intro for peak offload efficiency. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.